First of all, um, a lot of the Miami sites, um, if not all of them, um, do experience quite a bit of fraud. And from what we've seen, seen we've um, been able to work with a few different clients on it. The one that I can mention because they have a press release is that uh, BioV uh, in their recent study um, were quite um, severely affected because they had a number of, of Miami sites. Um, and in these Miami sites, the, the patients on average improve um, whether they're on placebo or on active um, in, and these are in populations where they should not be improving. Um, we've been told um, by, by some, and I, again, I can't mention names here, but uh, that this is the dirty little secret in, in Alzheimer's disease, but it's not just Alzheimer's disease because that people have approached us um, outside of Alzheimer's disease and say they've had similar problems. Um, one of the most distressing thing is that um, when it happens, these victims, uh, the, these sponsors that have invested so much time and effort and have potentially life-changing treatments, um, they will basically have their have KOLs turn their backs on them because they don't want to be associated with studies that have fraud uh, in them. And, and these KOLs would not be uh, negatively affected, I don't believe. Um, and we could do, we would be doing nothing but helping people if, uh, if people, uh, if one, we just publicizing it would make it so that the fraud would go away. Um, or two, um, these sites could be, uh, I don't know, prosecuted or, or in some way uh, convinced to stop if we made it difficult enough for them to, to commit fraud that they would stop doing it. Um, but, uh, but because people are too afraid to be associated with it, uh, it it's going to keep happening. I don't know that it's gotten enough publicity. I think that's the problem is that, uh, that people don't want to talk about it. They don't want to say that their study was affected by it. They don't want to say that, uh, that they've been consulting on a project that's, that, that's been associated with it. And so it just keeps happening. And any time a, a site gets shut down for reasons associated with it, they just close down that one site and then open up another one uh, under a different name and keep on doing what they've been doing. Um, and so it's, it's actually r rather distressing. Um, and it's the, they're hard to catch because they know how to pass audits. They know that in order to stay in business, they have to, to, to be able to, to dot all their I's and cross all their T's, and so they do it. Um, and they, they have ways of making sure that the, the data um, are, are hard to find. But when we look at it in the aggregate, it, it's becoming easier and easier to see. And so either we, we publish all the methods that, uh, that we've found that, uh, that can find these sites and just make it that much harder for them to, to do it, um, or we, we use these methods and, and find these sites and try and shut them down. But uh, in the meantime, my recommendation would be if anyone planning an, an Alzheimer's disease study would be to avoid Miami.